Good evening, everyone. Full case of uh, Panini Donner's Optic Football coming at you with a transcended baseball giveaway. That'll be at the very end of the break. This is a 12 box full case break. Pick your team. Number 13 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Is this my printout? Yes, it is. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action on a Friday. First Friday of the new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Tyler with that last spot mojo with the Carolina Panthers. And there's everyone else. Good luck, everybody. And I will post another case of this uh, after this break. Believe it or not, I think we're running out of cases. I looked in the back when I was grabbing this case a little bit earlier. I think we only have a few more cases left. I'm sure we'll get some more at some point in the future, but for now, we're kind of running out. Empty box. Here are all 12 boxes right here. All right. Good luck, everybody. I think everyone should be familiar with the configuration of Optic Football by now. Good luck, everybody. A lot of great parallels in here. We're pulling a lot of awesome case hits out of here. Kyle's like, you can't run out of Optic. It's a hot seller. You're right. We'll try to get some more. In fact, we, we probably will simply because I think the new release schedule, usually the new release schedule in like November and December is kind of insane. They, they Every week there's like, four new releases and major new releases at that. But now that now that the new release schedule has slowed down a little bit, we can start kind of looking back on some of the uh, some pro like products like this and try to bring some of that back into the fold. I think over the next uh, few weeks or so, I think uh, you'll, you can start to expect to see some, uh, some high-end football mixers start to appear on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so keep an eye out on the website over the next few weeks. I'm sure some of those will start to appear. They'll, they'll be, they'll be, I'm sure there'll be random team mixers and pick your team mixers. And I know we haven't done a good mixer in a while, so I know people will be excited about that. Good luck, boys and girls. Our first parallel is Calvin Benjamin, 57 out of 99. It's Panthers edition. D.D. Westbrook for the Jaguars, Joe Cavanaugh Jr., J.K.J., out of 149. Jared Goff, 259 out of 299. Nice one for the Rams. We got we got some people, some players in the playoffs. Playoffs? It's Matt Ryan. There's Drew Brees. We'll see him in the playoffs this weekend. 114 out of 149 for the Saints. That'll be for Gary, Gary Gordon. Dalvin Cook, poor Dalvin Cook, 37 out of 149. Wish we, we wish we could see him in the playoffs. Maybe next year. Andy Dalton, one out of 50. Bengals, that'll be for Chris Parent. And our autograph is Rated Rookie Auto, Deshaun Kaiser. Nice on-card auto for the Browns. Alex Carmichael with that one. 59 out of 150. 
Is he the answer? I don't know. Aaron Rodgers at a 199. That'll be for the Packers. Josh Filo with the pack. And that is that. That was box number one. We'll sleeve up and top load all these parallels before they get shipped out, so don't worry about that. Lower number parallels, we'll do that right away. Oh, you know what? No, I didn't. Remind me again after the break, Paul T. I, I, I want to watch that video, that, that trick play for Matthew, right? Is right? it the one Matthew Stafford catches a touchdown? I saw Baker Mayfield catch a touchdown. All right, box two, good luck. So this is Pick Your Team 13. We'll be posting the next break after this break. And the same, um, the same promo for Transcendent Baseball will apply. So at the end of this break, Pick Your Team 13, everyone who bought at least two teams will get one spot in a randomizer, in a list, in a randomizer for a Transcendent Baseball spot jaspyshobbyland.com. It's the $155 value transcendent baseball spot on jaspyshobbyland.com. Good luck, everybody. Next box. We're going to start off with Dwayne Smoot for the Jaguars. JKJ, Joe Cavanaugh Jr. with that one. Jordan Howard, 31 out of 50 for the Bears. Bears parallel, that goes to Mark. Looks like we got a hot box here. Jordan Willis, Bengals. That'll be for Chris Parent. So usually, so what I've seen pattern-wise is we'll see uh, either a two autograph and points, one points card hot box or a four autograph hot box. Those generally seem to be the, the pattern. And remember, as always, um, for the points, they'll be randomized to one person in the break. Adam Shaheen for the Bears, another Bear. So any and all points will get collected as one lot and randomized to one person in this break. 8 out of 99, Deonta Foreman. That's for Bruce and the Texans. Oh, there was another card behind there. Larry Fitzgerald, 166 out of 299 for the Cardinals. Uh, that'll be for Daniel Patera. And there's Raekwon, 28 out of 50. Red for the Dolphins. That'll be for Dubberly. There you go, Dubberly. Twenty-eight out of fifty. Um I don't, you know what, I have actually not seen the invite. Can you bring a guest to the hand? I, I think there's a plus one to that event. Maybe there's not. I, I'm, you know what, to be honest with you, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll double check on that after this break. Chad Hansen, rated rookie autograph, or if someone else knows. To catch a pass, Chad Hansen, 38 out of 75 for the Jets, Jets, Jets. Tim H with the Jets. There's LaShawn McCoy, Karen, 39 out of 199. What's the latest on LaShawn McCoy? I think he's still, I think he's still game time decision. There's Gary Ann Conley, 164 out of 299 for my Raiders. 
Who's got my Raiders in this one? Daniel Patera does. There you go, Daniel. And there you have it. Box two. So that's your four autograph hot box. And the next box. All right, good luck, everybody. TJ saying, hey, he's pulling for the Jaguars this weekend, but he hopes the Bills run the table. As a neutral fan, yeah. I think I, that'd be cool to see the Bills run the table. I don't think they're going to, but, but uh, I think as a neutral fan, I don't have a dog in this playoffs. My Raiders obviously having a disappointing season. Um, yeah, that'd be cool to see the Bills run the table like that. That'd be pretty cool. So I guess LaShawn McCoy is listed as questionable with the ankle, with the belief that he will play. But he will be limited. I'm sure. Unless it's gamesmanship. Unless he's unless he's just fine. You know. But hey, he's only questionable with that ankle, and if you know he gets that taped up and the, the playoff that playoff adrenaline starts to flow. Who knows? That, that might make that game pretty interesting. All right. Good luck, everybody. We've got a green Jarvis Landry. Should be a train whistle for Dubberly and the Dolphins. Four out of five on that Jarvis Landry. You know what that means. That means you're all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There's Deonta Foreman, Gridiron Kings, to 149. And there's Jamal Williams. Blue rated rookie autograph for the Packers. That'll be for Josh Philo. Thirty out of seventy-five. There's Stacy Coley for the Vikings. One thirteen out of two ninety-nine. Vikings, that would be for Diego. Cruising, I think a Jags Vikings Super Bowl would be pretty cool. There's Tom Brady, 86 out of 149. Everybody's fine in New England, apparently, after that article from ESPN. There's Josh Malone, 1 out of 99, rated rookie for the Bengals. Bengals, kind of Marvin Lewis trying to start from scratch, Chris Parent. There's orange Mike Wallace for the Purple Birds out of 199. That'll be for Tim H. and the Ravens. Fifty-five out of 149. Carson Palmer retired now. It'll be weird to see a world in which Carson Palmer is no longer playing. That one goes to Daniel Patera and the Cardinals. A couple rated rookie cards. Next box, good luck. 
What other news is happening, folks? Contract details for John Gruden and my Raiders being uh, being re revealed. $100 million for 10 years. Assistant coaches, apparently. Coordinators, I think, are being given, like, four-year contracts as well. Now, while, while contracts don't necessarily mean, mean anything, anyone can get fired, right? Anyone's contract can be terminated. But still, the, the statement of intent by the Raiders is pretty big. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see very quickly if John Gruden is rusty, has taken too much time off, if the game has passed him by, or if he's still sharp and still ready to go. We'll see if he got too comfortable in the, in the broadcast booth. We'll see how he does. You know, maybe, maybe you just need, uh, maybe if you're someone like John Gruden, you just need, uh, just need some time off. You know, just to recharge the batteries and get back into it. Looks like he's ready to do that again. I'm happy about it as a Raiders fan. Now, how that will change things remains to be seen. Um, I don't know how that changes that remains to be seen, but we'll see. I think the Raiders have a lot of good individual players, um, but it's a matter of trying to get those individuals to play, you know, and building depth, doing all that sort of stuff, and kind of. You know, maybe the right coach is what I would say. Uh, I believe Gruden is uh, is given the ability to pick the coordinators. That that would be my guess. That that seems to be the uh, that seems to be the implication. Um, I think early early talk is that Ian Rappaport Apparently reporting that he has three key coordinators already in place. Rams QB coach Greg Olson is going to be the offensive coordinator. And there's Jeremy Sprinkle for TJ. Um, Bengals ex-defensive coordinator Paul Gunther as defensive coordinator. And the Cowboys, Rich uh, Basakia, as the special teams guy. Looks like a hot box coming at you. Gerald Everett for the Rams. That'll be for Derek Slavic. 17 out of 25. Yeah, I mean, Gruden would have the upper hand on that because, he, yeah, he, he watches them all the time. As a commentator, there's Le'Veon Bell. Nice black parallel. 11 at 25 for the Steelers and Michael Gallucci. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Actually, that refractor looks pretty cool, right? But yeah, he does watch them all the time. You know, he does interview them often for, you know, for the broadcast and whatnot. There's Mitch Trubisky, 120 out of 149. Des Bryant out of 199 for the Cowboys. That'll be for James. And Chris Berman, 002 out of 149. Fans of the game, Chris Berman. So this just, uh, he doesn't, he is not associated with the team. So he'll be randomized to one person in the break. He'll go back, 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 back over here. That's my stellar Chris Berman impression. Terrell Suggs for the Ravens. 96 out of 99 for the Purple Birds. Michael Gallucci likes that Le'Veon Bell. Quality song, he says, black and yellow. Tim H. with the Ravens, by the way. And an autograph for the Ravens. Marlon Humphrey. Nice black ink autograph for Tim H. And Joe Williams, on-card rated rookie autograph. Fifty-eight out of ninety-nine for the Niners. James S. 
And there's Brandon Marshall Blue for the New York Football Giants for Big Blue out of 149. That goes to JKJ. Ryan Ruff saying that Gruden will make a good GM someday. Yeah, I, that's, I think that's not a bad call. I think he does, uh, he does, uh, you know, the, the Gruden quarterback camp. So I know he's plugged in, he has been plugged in to a certain extent with uh, some of the, with the draft, draft classes and whatnot. So I know he's always doing that. I think you hear stories all the time about John Gruden, who lives in Tampa Bay. He says that a lot of other uh, fired coaches, you know, I think that's his words, I think a lot of fired coaches live in that area. And, um, and they always kick back and watch tape all the time. They're, so there, there, there are still, you know, he still has that kind of coach's fire to him. So I know he's been kind of plugged in. Now, watching tape is, uh, and breaking down film is one thing, but to get into that grind of the week to week and the press conferences and the game days and whatnot and managing 50 plus people on a roster plus your administrative staff and all that sort of thing. I know it's a different battle for sure, but. But yeah, I mean, I think eventually he could be a good GM. I think early early reports were saying that Gruden would get an ownership stake of the team, which I didn't think would happen. I don't think a lot of, you know, that'd be kind of a a weird path to get get into ownership. And I don't know if the owners would even agree to something like that. Might be a little weird. Um, but you know, I'm sure there's some sort of uh, handshake, you know, verbal agreement perhaps or understanding that Gruden may lead into a front office job at some point if he does well with the Raiders. Yeah, he debunked that, right? Yeah. Uh, my guess is that, listen, if he has a 10-year contract, right, if John Gruden knocks out like a Super Bowl or two, you know, within the next six years or something like that, or maybe in his sixth, seventh year or something, he, he knocks out a Super like in his last year around there, year six or seven, he knocks out a Super Bowl. You know, he, he may just say, hey, I'm going to retire to the front office, you know, void the last few years of the contract, switch that over to a GM job or something, and, and kind of continue on from there. Curtis Samuel rated rookie. Uh, 187 out of 299. That's for the Panthers. Power asking if, uh, yeah, Rich Gannon as a quarterback's coach would be pretty interesting too, TJ. You're right. He's, he seems excited about it too. Wow. Look at that. Wait for that one, folks. Um, wow, I can't believe that actually. Um, Power, be, before I show you this, I'll answer Power's question first. Uh, do you think the Bears will be a playoff worthy? Will be playoff worthy with a good strong receiver? No. <laughs> they need a little bit more than that. Quarterback play is the most important thing. Now, if in a, in a few years, Mitch Trubisky will need that receiver. But look at this, folks. For Gary Gordon and the Saints. Speechless. Wow. That's Gary Gordon with Nolens. He has the Saints. And he has that. Elite series from Donruss Optic Football by Panini. Drew Brees autograph. One of one. For Gary Gordon and the Saints. Gary, you know what that means, right? You get to pull the train whistle. All aboard! Woo woo! What a hit. Bam! We'll set that right there. Well, that's a case hit, folks. Five out of 99, Kenny G. Going to the Lions. That'll be four. Alex Carmichael. Mac Hollins rated rookie. 59 out of 199. Yeah, I kind of like that gold on gold, right, Cruz? Cruz is like, that gold on gold looks great. 
I agree with you. We got Josh Reynolds for the Rams. 45 out of 149 on that parallel. Odell Beckham Jr. out of 299. D.D. Westbrook rated rookie card out of 149 for the Jaguars. And we'll see Matt Ryan. And we'll see both of these guys this weekend. 30 out of 99, Matt Ryan. For the Dirty Birds, that'll go to Diego. Was there... TJ saying, well, did we, was the last time we saw one of these, did we see another case hit? I don't know, but this has the, this has the makings of a really solid case thus far. Next box. Good luck, boys and girls. saying Baker Mayfield will make football cards fun next year. Yeah, he should. Especially if he if he gets into a position where or gets to a team where he'll actually where he'll start. I think, I think this feels like if last year was a great um, if last year was considered a great uh, running back class, I think this year could be a great quarterback class. I think there might be a might be a decent amount of quarterbacks drafted in the uh, in the first round. Sam, you think the Jets will take the you think the Jets will take Baker Mayfield? That could be interesting. There's Marco Murray, one out of 99. I think he was ruled out for this week, right? It'll be the Derrick Henry show. Larry Fitzgerald, out of 149 for Daniel and the Cardinals. And Carlos Henderson, rated rookie black parallel. Seventeen out of twenty-five. Nice one for the Broncos. Little oppo Joe Mojo for Chris Parent. Aiden's asking, thoughts on Baker being the next Manziel? Are people actually saying that? Allen Robinson, 90 out of 149 for the Jaguars, for JKJ. And there's Return of the Mac Marlin, Mac. 38 out of 149. I mean, I, I thought I thought that I thought that Johnny Manziel was like the, the the rumors were that he definitely was a partier, right? He definitely liked to party. But did, does I mean is Baker Mayfield the same kind of guy? I mean, I guess he does too. Out of two ninety nine, Jordan Reed. There's Noah Brown for the Cowboys, 75 out of 149. Nice. Looks like Contenders is sold out. So we'll probably do that break right after this. I'll have to take a little bit of a break before we start another hour-long break, but we'll get there. Nice to Sean Watson. 3 out of 25, rated rookie, black parallel. 
That's for Bruce and the Texans. Yeah, I think you know. I, I th honestly, I think that that the that I guess I don't really follow college football too closely. But from what I understand, I never thought that um, I never thought that Baker Mayfield struck me as a Johnny Manziel type of character. You know what I mean? Like Johnny Manziel, I think w was definitely had. You know, there there were stronger rumors of of, of him with like. Like drugs and alcohol, basically, at parties. That was pretty common for him to do that. I don't hear the sim. I don't hear similar stories about Baker Mayfield. I mean, if you're talking about flipping off fans and stuff, I mean, that's just that's just a, that's just a kid making a mistake. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, I mean, pros do that too. Like the stories that I heard about Johnny Manziel when he was coming out seemed to be a lot more serious than compared to Baker Mayfield. So I don't know if that's a fair comparison. I mean, you never know. It's a crapshoot with any of these draft picks, you know? It's one thing to have the physical talent, then it's the next thing, can you be a professional? How do you handle the money? How do you handle the, the spotlight, the fame? Anyone can crack, you know? Anyone can rise above it. You don't know, you know? That's why all these football teams will will do their, their interviews and do their discussions and ask all those questions and you know, they've got, they've got private eyes, they've got investigators, you know, talking to their friends, calling up their teachers and classmates, friends from back home. I mean, they really dig, they really dig deep. So... Oh, and for the record, Aiden disagrees with the comparison as well. But I guess he's just asking what everyone thinks about that. Yeah, I, I, I think I think whoever whoever tries to generate that comparison may be stretching it a little a little too far, you know. I don't know. Maybe they are the same. I have no idea, but. I don't know them, but it feels different though. I think I think their attitudes feel a little more different. Once again, there's that Drew, but here's another look at it. Pretty amazing. All right. Next one. Good luck everybody. Chris Wormley is your autograph. That goes to Tim H and the Purple Birds. Hey, for me, it's in the best interest for me. Uh, uh, it's in the best interest for me and the hobby and for everybody else for all these quarterbacks, these young quarterbacks to get drafted in the first round and start and do very well, very, very well. <laughs> so I'm rooting for Baker Mayfield and, every, and all the quarter. I'm rooting for Brad Kaya, 140 out of 199, rated rookie, goes to the Lions. That'll be for Alex. I'm rooting for Shelton Gibson, rated rookie, out of 299. I'm rooting for all these guys. There's Le'Veon Bell out of 149 for the Steelers. It's been a while since his rookie year. I'm, I'm, rooting, for, I'm rooting for the rookies. Another fan of the game. That'll be another randomizer. Carlos Henderson. He's a Bronco, so I won't be rooting for him. Now, I'm rooting for him to do well it's just so Broncos owners have something to root for, too. Carlos Henderson, Broncos, Chris Parent. Nice Tyreek Hill, black parallel. That goes to the Kansas City Chiefs. That'll be for Bruce. Seven out of 25.
And there's 24 out of 35 rated rookie on card auto, Ryan Switzer. I guess it's kind of a hot box, Paul T. Usually a hot box like this will have uh, the two autograph hot box will have points snuck in there somewhere, but this one didn't have one. So. Still an above average box though. With two autographs. So the Ryan Switzer on card will go to, uh, I think James Scheisler. Yeah, James with the Cowboys. Next box. Good luck, everybody. NFL.com has three storylines to watch for the weekend. First storyline, folks. Can Carolina find its running game again? What do you guys think? It's no secret that Carolina lives and dies by its running game. Just take a look at Week 17. Without Jonathan Stewart, the Panthers posted their fourth lowest rushing total of the season which came in a game that offered Carolina a chance at the division crown and a home playoff game. Instead, the Panthers' offense struggled to get off the ground against a desperate Falcons team that held, the Carolina, held Carolina under 250 yards of total offense. It all comes back around to the ground game with the Panthers. This is according to NFL.com. In games which Carolina failed to break 100 yards rushing, the Panthers went 2-2, two and two, while winning 9 of their 12, their 12 other contests. Quarterback Cam Newton leads the team in rushing with 754 yards and six total scores, but that partially comes as a result of defenses respecting the Panthers' traditional runners in Stewart and rookie Christian McCaffrey. When armed with both backs, the onus rests on the shoulders of Carolina's offensive line, which has helped pave the way for the league's fourth-best rushing uh, offense, even if it's not traditional. Against the league's average rushing defense, literally, New Orleans is 16th in the league against the run. The Panthers have a decent matchup. They average 122 yards per game against Saints during the regular season. What does everyone think? Can Carolina find its running game again? There's Patrick Mahomes. Autograph. Nice rated rookie autograph for Bruce Chang and the Chiefs. This is what Bruce was looking for. 23 out of 150 Patrick Mahomes or Kareem Hunt, I guess. That's nice. There's Wayne Gallman, 54 out of 149 for Big Blue. Red Iron Kings insert. There's James Connor, 221 out of 299. And a gold, Hassan Reddick, 8 out of 10. Uh, 404, I do not get teams in my own breaks. Not allowed to. That would be somewhat unethical, I think. Because knowing my luck, I pull all the one of ones, and everyone's going like, oh, that's rigged. Joe somehow rigged it. And I'd be taken away from you. I'd rather have you guys get the, the big hits. Rated rookie Marlon Mack, 70 out of 199. I haven't seen any left right cards, Paul T. Have I been passing by those? Oh, there's one right there. There you go. 
speak of the devil. We'll randomize these left and right at the end of the break. Uh, if those are some of those, sometimes those can be serial numbered. And if they are, we'll randomize those separately. Gridiron Kings, Philip Rivers, out of 149. Well, apparently no one has comments on the uh, on the Carolina's running game. No one cares if Carolina finds a running game again. How about, do the Bills stand a chance against Saxonville without LaShawn McCoy? Do the Bills stand a chance against Saxonville without LaShawn McCoy? LaShawn McCoy questionable for Sunday, but didn't practice Wednesday or Thursday and was a limited participant uh, on Friday. Beyond McCoy, the depth chart is thin. Thanks to the offensive departure of Mike Gillespie, Gillespie, with bowling ball, Mike Tolbert serving as the next best option, but that doesn't inspire much confidence in the uh, Buffalo running, rushing attack against a defense that is downright suffocating. People have comments on the Bills. No, no chance, says Roy and, and Chris. The Jacksonville Jaguars didn't earn the uh, Saxonville nickname by chance. Jacksonville is the first uh, is first in the league against the pass, second in sacks, second in total defense. Where the weakness lies with uh, where the weakness lies is against the run. Yeah. Next question, right? I mean, without Lashawn McCoy or even a limited Lashawn McCoy, they can't. They won't take advantage of that. Does uh, Does Derrick Henry? Well, Derrick Henry is going to take the lead role for Tennessee. How do you think he does? That's like the next storyline that NFL.com is saying. Derrick Henry with the lead role. MEGR saying they need uh, Buffalo needs Blake Bortles for the Jaguars to throw like five picks, which he's very capable of doing. That might be kind of an that might be kind of an ugly game, you know. If Tyrod Taylor is forced to throw more often for that running game, sub SWAT, what's going on? Then maybe maybe the under on that game. I don't know. Unless there's a lot of pick sixes, you never know. That could be that could be an ugly game. Or the legend of Blake Bortles can grow. You dust off your old Blake Bortles rookie autos. Remember how much those used to go for back in the day? Blake Bortles autographs would go for a boatload of money. So many people all in on Blake Bortles. But he might be back. All right, next box, folks. A.J. Green out of 149 for the Bengals. That'll go to the Bengals. That'll be for Chris Parent. The Chad Kelly will go is uh, out of 149. That'll go to the Broncos. That'll be for also for Chris Parent. More illusions cards. That'll be a left-right randomizer. And then we've got an orange Adoree Jackson out of 199. That'll go to the Titans. That'll be for Karen. Red Iron Kings, Leonard Fournette, 61 out of 99. That goes to JKJ and the Jaguars. When's the last time we've seen a Leonard Fournette autograph out of Optic? Have we? I feel like it's been a while. It might be due. Wow, that's a Mike Evans autograph. That goes to the Buccaneers. That's for Mark Glassman. Not sure if you were expecting this, Mark, but there it is. Four out of ten, Mike Evans, Gridiron Kings. Bit of a down season for the Buccaneers in general, but I like that Mike Evans. That should be pretty good going forward. Tredavious White out of 299. Boston Graphs, what's going on? SWAT asking, what do I think about the price of Brady rookies? What are the price of Brady rookies? Like, my opinion is that they're probably high, that <laughs> they're good. I guess. Chris
Chris Godwin. See, I was expecting more of like a Chris Godwin autograph. 83 out of 99. Now, Optic does have the ability to surprise. There's Derek Barnett, Black Refractor, 6 out of 25. And there's Shelton Gibson right there. That's for the Eagles. That'll go to Michael Gallucci with the Fly Eagles Flying. He's got a couple Pennsylvania teams there. Nice. Yeah, it has been a pretty sick case. With that Drew Brees one of one. If this was a divisional break. All right, three boxes to go. Or oh, that Brady is $15,000. You could buy half a Corvette with that. That's, that is true. I have a feeling that the people who could afford a Brady rookie autograph for $15,000 can also afford that and the Corvette. Hey, Jason Cox, no worries. No worries at all. Thank you for getting in. We've got plenty of other basketball. That's not really the cost of the drillers, is it? I was, I, if I won the lottery, if I won like the, I don't know what the, I think the Powerball uh, and the Mega Millions is well over three or four hundred million dollars right now, unless somebody won it tonight. Um, if I had that kind, if I had lottery money, if I had lottery money, I would, I would. Uh, I would try to buy like a. I would try to buy like a. Um, a minor league baseball team. I think that would be a good Um, we actually have Super Jumbo draft in house. Jason Cox. I think we'll try to post some next week. That's the plan, anyway, when Nick comes back from vacay. Diego, have we pulled a uh, Dalvin Cook out of any of these case breaks? Yeah, we have. A few. I think one of them was a one-of-one one, Dalvin Cook last night. Or the night before. I don't know. They all blur together. And some regular ones, too. Ezekiel Elliott at a 149 for the Cowboys. James with that one. Yeah, with $700 million, if the Powerball goes up to that, if I win that Powerball, If I win that Powerball, then then yeah, I think I'll I think I think I'll try to buy a minor league baseball team. Marvin Jones Jr. out of 199. Wow, a Brady playoff rookie contenders auto sold for almost twenty three thousand dollars. It's pretty crazy. That makes sense, though. Yeah, it's had to be graded, right? If I win, free breaks are free the next day. One thirty-eight, one forty-nine. I wouldn't even tell you guys. Oh, how about that? There it is. Found it, Diego. <laughs> Diego was getting all bummed out. Have you even pulled a Dalvin Cook yet out of these case breaks? Yeah, Diego. Yes. Black Refractor, Rated Rookie, Dalvin Cook, On Card Auto for, that's right, Diego Torres, 12 out of 25. Boom. There you go. Congrats. Thanks for getting in, man. Charles Harris, out of 299 for the Dolphins. That'll be for Dubberly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jason Cox, like we would know. Yeah, I'd, I'd have a lot of long lost cousins appearing out of the blue. Out of 149, Adoree Jackson for the Titans. And Zay Jones for the Bills. Out of 149, Zay Jones could be a legend in the playoffs. And there's Leonard Fournette Black. You're welcome, Diego. Nice hit, man. I think Dalvin Cook will be fine. He'll be back. He'll be back next year. For JKJ, rated rookie, Black Refractor, 17 out of 25. I like those low numbers. And two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a pretty great case. Have I ever pulled a Brady auto? Yes. I think out of last year's impeccable. <laughs> Swats like you guys are card guys. You don't keep up on this stuff? Some people do. We keep up on we keep up on the products that we're that we're ripping at the moment. I guess if we had old cases of contenders with uh, Brady rookie opportunities, we might talk about that more. But those are pretty eye-watering prices. It's crazy. Yeah, um, but Brady autos are few and far between, Boston Brass. I think only a certain, a certain amount of sets. Like, he'll be in Flawless. Uh, he'll be in... National Treasures. He was in Impeccable. Uh, 2016 Impeccable. I don't think he was in 2017 Impeccable. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Cruz got a Brady Auto. Oh, I got you one out of Flawless. Nice. Yeah, so, but few and far between. That's why I encourage everybody to, like, look at the checklists for, especially for higher end products. You never know what guys that you normally don't see end up signing for that particular product. So knowledge is power, folks. Usually resources like cardboardconnection.com are pretty good for that sort of stuff. Nice. Look at this, seven out of 25. Downtown Antonio Brown. So you got the Le'Veon Bell, right? I think you got the Le'Veon Bell black refractor. And now Antonio Brown black refractor. They're all, all, they're all matching. David Johnson, 66 out of 99. That's for Daniel Patera and the Cardinals. And 7 out of 99, Mike Williams, rated rookie, on-card autograph. <laughs> Can you have that Antonio Brown? You, gotta have, you have to ask nicely and probably pay money to Michael Gallucci. Then yes, at that point. But he's a Steelers fan too, so... Sidney Jones out of 299. That's for the Fly Eagles Fly. That's another one for Michael Gallucci. Davis Webb, 78 out of 149. You want some free giveaways? We're giving away a transcendent football or a transcendent baseball spot in this optic base uh, this optic football break. Could have gotten a free transcendent spot in this one. That Evan Ingram, rated rookie, goes to the Giants, Joe Cavanaugh Jr. Giving me a lot of break credit and some other breaks too. 
81 out of 199, Carlos Hyde. Giving away a free spot in Immaculate Football. You can get randomized a free spot in the next Immaculate Football break. That's on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Join Flawless Baseball, you know, and you can get a Transcendent Baseball spot. There's Lamar Miller out of one. That's a giveaway right there. Got plenty on the website. jazbeeshobbyland.com. All right, coming up on the last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, everybody. Some randomizers to do after this. Tyler Stump saying, "Don't skunk." Well, I'm, I, I don't want to skunk you. I'm, I blame the case. I blame the case. I personally don't want to skunk anybody. That's not. I, I wish everyone can get a get a monster hit every time they join a break. Unfortunately. These cases sometimes don't cooperate. <laughs> but we still have an autograph to go and a bunch of parallels to go. So let's see what we can do for everybody. TJ is still looking for that Samaj P. Ryan. I know a lot of people who are, who are still hitless in this break looking for something as well. Good luck, everybody. And I see uh, a few orders coming in. I know that Contenders football is filled up. So after this break is over, I'm going to take a quick five or ten minute break. And then we'll embark on another long break in Contenders football. We'll have some adventures in there too. Good luck, everybody. Last box. I'll post another one of these, too. We got a Wouzier at a 99. And we got a train whistle coming up. Oh, look at her. Genevieve Morton, four out of five. She's allegedly a Rams fan. I don't think I believe that. Derek Slavic with the Rams fan. She's a fan of the game, allegedly. Sports Illustrated uh, swimsuit model, GQ cover model, FHM sexiest woman, women of the world, one of them. And Morton took a shot at predicting winners of the AFC and NFC title games following the 2016 season. Fond of rags to riches stories, the South African native, South African native, picked the underdogs. I mean, no, I, no doubt, I have no doubt that she watches football. I'm sure she enjoys. She enjoys the game. Oh, and Derek, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! No doubt she enjoys the game of football. I don't know if she's specifically a Rams fan. That's what I'm questioning. <laughs> and return of the Mac. Mac Hollins, rated rookie autograph. We'll be on a Mac hunt in the contenders break, so stay tuned for that. The over-under on Macs in contenders is three and a half. Did we go over last time? We'll talk about it in the next break. So that goes to Michael Gallucci and the Fly Eagles Fly. And that is our last autograph of the break, unless we're surprised with another one. Still looking for low parallels. We could still find a one of one parallel, another train whistle maybe. There's Deonta Foreman, Ricky Williams out of 149. That'll be a separate randomizer, not just left, right. There's Travis Kelsey. Out of 299 for the Chiefs.
Matthew Stafford out of 199. That'll go to the Lions. Do I pull out TJ Watt? Auto? In fact, actually, the next break we're about to do, Panini Contenders Football. It'll be in a separate video if you're watching the replay at home. Um, yeah, we, we, have, we have pulled a lot of TJ Watt autographs. There's our Darius Stewart out of 299 out of that Contenders, which we're about to do. Abner, there you go. Abner has a, uh, has a TJ Watt autograph that I got from out of Preferred. Tariq Cohen for the Bears out of 149. That'll go to Mark Glassman. And John Ross the third. Nope, not a parallel. And there you have it, folks. There you go. Some randomizers to do, so stand by for that. First of all, we'll do that left-right randomizer. This will be randomized between the Texans and the Dolphins. And then everyone gets a shot at the no points, believe it or not, in this break. Um, so the parallel will go to the name on top, and then just the refractor will go to the second name right there. And then we'll do the transcendent randomizer as well. All right, so let me fire up Rana.org. There's some new die. One, two, three, I need four lists. One, two, three, and four. All right, so the, there's the left-right randomizer. Then we've got the one that was actually numbered, Texans, Dolphins. Yeah, Doubly, believe it or not, no points in that entire case. And then everyone gets a shot at the rumbling, stumbling, back, 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 Chris Berman cards. And if you bought at least two teams, that gets you one entry into our Transcendent Baseball Spot promo. All right, there's Alex. He got two. So did Bruce. So did Chris. So did Chris Dubberly. So did Patera, Diego, James, JKJ, Josh, Karen, Mark, Michael, Tim H., so each of these people bought at least two teams, giving them one entry. So out of a six, uh, total of 16, max, 13. That's kind of a lot this time, but good luck. Still a good odds. One out of 13 chance to get a transcendent baseball spot, which is um, which is $155 value. We've got plenty of those on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Get it into transcendent. Scared money don't make money. All right, let's do this. Let's randomize each list. Six and a five, 11 times. Left, right first, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So after eleven times, left side, left side will get him. All right. On the other side, Urban. We got, we got that, we got that, and a bunch of other nice hits in here too. All right, next one is this one right here. Brian, you've got big news about the Raiders. Texans, Dolphins, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Dolphins, we'll get that one. So Miami Dolphins, that will be Chris Dubberly. With the 62 out of 149, Right there, sorry, there's a little dust on here too. So that'll go to the Dolphins. Everyone has a shot at the Chris Bermans. Once again, 11 times. Top two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11, then final time. After 11 times, Michael Gallucci, there you go. You get the Blue edition of Chris Berman, 002 out of 149. And Alex Carmichael, you'll get the regular one there, the refractor. Right there, congrats, you guys. And last but not least, six and a five for the Transcendent Baseball Spot, a $155 value after 11 times. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Brian, did you just tell me that the big news that the Raiders are preparing to sign John Gruden for a 10-year, $100 million contract? I didn't know until you told me. I don't have a TV. 11th and final time. Karen, congrats. After 11 times, a transcendent baseball spot, all yours. Thanks very much for getting to the break. Thanks, everybody. Jaspieshobbyland.com. And thanks to Brian for letting me know at 7 o'clock Pacific <laughs> in L.A. time, I spent the entire day not watching any TV at all or any sports or any talk radio, sports talk radio. And no one else in the room told me that the Raiders were preparing to sign John Gruden for a 10 year $100 million contract. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time, everybody. JaspiesHobbyland.com.